GCD is short for Game Changing Development. It's our program. Our goal is to uh, discover uh, new technologies, to enable new missions or make the current missions even better. We look at um, high risk, high payoff activities and we look for changing the way a thing is done or made and what does it take to get from the bench top or the lab to ready for orbit testing and that's our niche. Game Changing takes the technologies that have been worked on at the centers or um, in universities or by small businesses and takes them to the point where they could be infused into a NASA mission that looks at the lower level technology levels and takes on a little bit of a riskier portfolio in order to develop technologies. I think Game Changer is not really afraid to fail, but they'd rather go after the failure to actually achieve something innovative and game changing. We get scolded if we don't have, you know, failures. So <laughs> I think, you know, the fact that we're allowed to fail um, and learn from our mistakes is pretty unique. We have a lot of technology first. And we mean no kidding, this has never been done before. One example is nan uh, carbon nanotubes. We took that technology and made it into a nano wire and broke a record three times on how fast the electrical conductivity went through that wire. We were excited to be the first ones ever to put a 3D printer in space. And that 3D printer is on station right now. It's fully operational. And then we came into what was interesting. We needed some, some tool, and it happened to be a simple wrench. And they designed the CAD file down on Earth, shot it up there. The astronaut was able to push the button and it printed that 3D wrench and was mission accomplished. I mean, that's the kind of thing that we're trying to do. Another uh, example would be Robonaut. So we really are focusing on uh, tasks with Robonaut that can um, save crew time. You know, astronauts tend to be our best and brightest and they're really best used to be doing science. We're looking at different technologies right now for spacesuits. Okay, we, we have a a carbon dioxide and moisture removal system that goes in the backpack of the suit to, to remove, in a regenerative way, carbon dioxide and moisture from the suit. It really simplifies the suit systems. We're working on a glove. Um, we're working on a pressure system, a pressure control system that allows a lot more capability for the suit. So we're working to enable human exploration. The neat thing about this job that I find, one of my favorite parts, is the spin-offs that are associated with it. So now taking this technology and figuring out how we can use it to improve life here on Earth as well. One of the projects that we're spinning off of high-ed technology is developing these fire shelters for uh, firefighters. We're testing um, thermal protection materials that were originally developed for use on an inflatable decelerator that will take humans to Mars or ro robots to another planet and we're testing that for use as a fire tent to protect our firefighters. Uh, the current fire tents can't take a flame on um, situation um, and this material will help protect them against that so we're really excited about that. We're developing exoskeleton uh, technology which is robotics technology and we're targeting our application uh, for crew health. It can be used as a crew exercise device, it can also be used to improve, improve crew efficiency and performance on orbit, but it, it also has terrestrial applications and benefits such as, uh, for example, people with disabilities to help them uh, with their mobility as well. The folks that develop these technologies are extremely passionate and enthusiastic about what it is that they do and I think that's the thing that I enjoy the most. And I don't know what it is that we're developing in the broad portfolio, but something that we're developing is going to be included in one of these NASA uh, future exploration missions, whether it be to Mars or Europa or, or any other planetary body, or even the discovery of a, a far off planetary body and I think that's what's most exciting. We're working on some of the hardest problems, you know, and you're pooling the best talent in the entire world and you're trying to work together to work on these problems that you don't even know if there is a solution, but you're trying to see if you can get through that together. And I think that's the coolest part about it. I really enjoy the technology. I guess I'm kind of a, a technology nerd in the sense that I think these things are exciting to see the developments and where we've come. What used to be on TV as a futuristic thing and now it's every common day. I, I think that's exciting to see and I'm looking forward to what the next generation will bring. Game changing is, is focusing on disruptive 
technologies, technologies that really will change the way we do something or create a new mission. And it's difficult, but if we accomplish it, it'll be a new rocket, it'll be a new propulsion system, it'll be a new life support system, it'll reduce the mass by half, it'll cut costs by two-thirds. That captures what GCD is all about.